Hello, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's time for a week two update of my intuitive gut healing journey. And I'm gonna be answering one of your questions all about gut health. So if you saw my last video, which was my week one update, you would have remembered that I had some pretty amazing measurement changes and weight changes in just one week of eating intuitively, really to help to heal my gut. So in week two, did I see the same amazing measurement changes? The answer is, no, but that's okay because I'm going to share with you what I did notice and it has so much more to do with what's going inside my body. So just to go over the results, I saw about a quarter of an inch reduction in my waist measurement, but most of the other measurements were exactly the same, including my weight. It only went down by about a quarter of a pound, which is not a whole lot. But what I really wanted to share with you was what I felt. So there's lots of ways to really understand how your health is changing or improving. One way is obviously obviously through weight and measurements, but another way is your energy levels. And I really recall during week two, feeling so energized, feeling amazing. I literally remember standing in the kitchen one day and thinking to myself, wow, I feel so, so good. And that is such a great feeling because when I compare that to just a few weeks prior, when I really wasn't feeling good, my stomach was really in knots a lot and I didn't feel like I had control over my gut health. But cut to week two and I really felt like I was getting things back in alignment really feeling energized and full of life like I wanted to. So the reason why that is so important is because energy levels have a lot to do with how well our gut is processing the food. And if we are having a really healthy gut microbiome, it's going to pull more of those nutrients out of the food, which will then help us to feel more energized, which was exactly what I was feeling. So week two was amazing. And when I compare that to the fact that I was in the bleed phase of my menstrual cycle, that's even better news. As most women will know, when we're in that bleed phase, we often do not feel great. We usually have really low energy and we usually experience a lot of bloating, PMS symptoms, maybe even constipation or on the opposite end of the spectrum, diarrhea. And so this leads me into answering one of the questions that I got on Instagram, which was about, are there any tips for women's gut health specifically? And yes, there is. And what's great is I was able to put those things into action during my first two weeks of my intuitive gut healing journey and I saw massive benefits from that. So let's get to answering what can women do to really help their gut health. So like I mentioned, during week two of my intuitive gut healing journey, which also happened to be the bleed phase of my cycle, I was not experiencing many of the symptoms that women often have during their bleed phase. And the reason for that is really simple, because gut health has a huge impact on our hormones. So the thing that we need to remember is in our bodies, we typically produce estrogen. Estrogen is also known as the female sex hormone. Now, the thing is that for many women, we can produce um, estrogen and not really have it be eliminated from the body very well. So what happens is the ovaries generally produce the most estrogen in the body. It comes and floods every other organ of the body that needs it. And then what happens is that it comes back to the liver. The liver then basically makes the estrogen inactive. So it's not going to work anymore. And then it goes into your digestive tract where it gets eliminated by your bowel movements. But if we don't have a good balance of our good and bad bacteria in our guts, what actually happens is the estrogen gets reactivated and the body reabsorbs that estrogen. So what happens? We actually end up with too much estrogen, also known as estrogen dominance. This is really important to know because when we have this imbalance of hormones, that's when we start to experience PMS symptoms. Things like having really um, heavy bleeds, having lots of tenderness, particularly around the breasts, migraines or headaches. There can be other things associated with estrogen dominance, such as an inability to really lose weight around the lower abdomen that can make it really challenging for women when we have too much estrogen. So what do we do about it? The first step is to make sure you are having lots of high fiber foods, particularly cruciferous vegetables. So we've come to find out that in cruciferous vegetables, such as broccoli, cauliflower, kale, bok choy, that kind of thing, they contain a 
particular compound that helps to break down any excess estrogen, and because of the high fiber content, it helps to eliminate it from the body. So that's one really easy thing that women can do to help with managing their hormone levels is simply by adding more cruciferous vegetables into their day-to-day -day eating plan. Now on the flip side, as you can imagine, if your gut health is not on point, then you won't be able to eliminate that S excess estrogen from the body. And so you wanna make sure you're always getting a good amount of fiber, not just during your bleed phase, but throughout your entire cycle. So everything leading up to and then after the bleed phase. A couple of other tips that you can do to help your gut health especially for women, is making sure you're drinking lots of water and also looking at taking a daily probiotic, whether that be a supplement or through natural food sources. Probiotics, once again, are those good bacteria that we need in our guts to help it to grow and thrive. And when we have that good balance of good bacteria and bad bacteria, then we also allow ourselves to have better digestive function. Now, you may have noticed during the bleed phase of your cycle, you might also experience something like diarrhea, which actually happens because of this fatty acid called prostaglandins. What it does is it causes the muscles of the uterus to really relax to allow it to shed its lining, but it also has the same effect on our bowels. And so that's why you might have more frequent or you might experience diarrhea simply because those muscles are relaxing, which means more poop. If you're on the opposite end of the spectrum where you typically experience some kind of constipation during your bleed phase, know that that is because of progesterone, yet another sex hormone. When we have a buildup of progesterone, which is really for growth, similar to estrogen, then that can cause some issues around constipation simply because there is too much progesterone in the body as well. So that's just a few really easy tips that all women can start to utilize right away when it comes to their gut health, as well as helping to balance hormones in their body. Not only that, it can also help with reducing PMS symptoms when your hormones are more balanced. So if you have any questions about gut health, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. I would love to answer them for you because this is something that I am so passionate about, helping women with their gut health so that they can feel better, have more energy, and once again, have that amazing vitality for life that we are all looking for. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in my week three update.